Sounds Radio 119.3 FM Hello and welcome to the Sensory Hour on Smooth Sounds Radio 119.3 FM To all my lovely relaxation seekers, snuggly sleepers and tingle heads, do I have a show for you this evening. I'm seeing you all snuggled up in your favourite pyjamas, tea in hand and listening to tonight's show. Perhaps through the website or maybe watching me through the live studio cam. Hello to everyone watching. Before we start, we have a message from our lovely sponsors over at Audible. This show is sponsored by Audible, an unmatched selection of audiobooks with a range of features including free apps, great listen guarantee, share audio excerpts and more. For a 30-day trial membership, including a free book, visit audible.com forward slash whispers red or text whispers red to 500 500. Membership includes one free audiobook per month, exclusive sales and 30% off all regularly priced audiobooks. So visit audible.com forward slash whispers red or text whispers red to 500 500. Okay, lovely. And do get in touch and let us know what titles you are listening to this month. I'm listening to Quiet by Susan Kane. The power of introverts in a world that can't stop talking. An important tool for any sensitive person, I think. Introverts, HSPs, empaths. Anyone with a heightened sensory experience of this world, you know who you are, is actually very important and I personally believe that these people joined as one through self-realisation will eventually be the saviours of this beautiful planet of ours. So any book on this subject I believe is incredibly useful. One of my favourite quotes from the book is Why shouldn't quiet be strong? And what else can quiet do that we don't give it credit for? Let's explore and that's what we aim to do on this show. Okay, so coming up on today's show we have our nature sound meditation. Let's see what that sound will be. I don't know. Our crystal segment. We have a beautiful crystal for you today. And we have our tone for the evening as usual. And of course our freestyle segment. And today's subject will be sounds from the studio. A little reminder of the sounds all around us and that there is never a more perfect time than now. So let's get right on to the nature sound meditation. Okay. So if you can make sure that you are sitting in a comfortable position or at least a position where you will be able to become comfortable. Today's nature sound is rain.
the fresh, cool drip drops of rain are falling from the sky, landing softly on your face, nourishing you with life-giving moisture and a beautiful feeling of calm. Before we begin tonight's meditation, let's focus on relaxing the whole of your body, starting with the feet. Turn your attention to your feet and release every muscle. Maybe wiggle your toes a little. That's it. Now move up your legs. Relaxing every muscle. Let the tension go and feel yourself sinking into your position. Your hips your waist, breathe down into your stomach and take a smile to yourself, send some love to your lovely tummy, relax your chest area and know you are breathing life and the cool air through the rain. Let the tension go in your shoulders, moving up to your neck and every muscle in your face. Maybe move your jaw around a little. That's it. Feel the rain and let it drench every muscle in your body with calm and with kindness. Now I invite you to come into a state of peace and of presence. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in and gently release, slowly breathing out. Take this moment to fully accept who you are right now, to love yourself, to know the whole of you as a perfect being full of light, peace and of kindness. Take a deep breath in and a long slow breath out. See and feel a beautiful, strong, glowing, flowing, crystalline white light. It begins to grow out of your heart center. Slowly, gently, it grows from tiny sparkles to a beautiful ball the size of your hands. Take a deep breath in and a long, slow breath out. Raise your hands 
towards the light and feel the sparkles dance around the palms of your hands. Feel them gently kiss your skin. Every sparkle, a kiss of love and acceptance of who you are. A perfect being of love. Take a deep breath in and a long slow breath out. Can you feel the sparkles creep around your body? Do you feel them around your head? Know that this is love and know this love is you. Take a deep breath in And a long, slow breath out. Now it's time to share this love with the space around you. See the beautiful, strong, flowing, crystalline light begin to grow larger. Slowly growing larger and larger, creeping into the space around you until all you are surrounded with is beautiful, sparkling, white light. This light is love. Breathe it deeply in and take a long, slow breath. From this moment on, you will breathe this love in and out to all that come into your space. Follow this love. Know that this love will go to their highest good. You are the bringer of light and of love. Take a deep breath in and take a long slow breath. And know that the universe is love. All energy around you is love. And love is you.
I hope that you really enjoyed that and I hope that you feel totally centered and relaxed right now. I know I do. Okay, so moving on to the next segment of tonight's show, a very popular one, and that is the crystal segment. Today's inspirational crystal is Labradorite, very popular and highly requested. So let's get started. I have a very large piece here. It's about one, two, three, about almost four inches tall and three wide. If you're watching on the studio cam, you'll be able to see it. It's very beautiful. Labradorite is a whole range of colours, typically. You can see silver, black, blue, green, turquoise and yellow. If you move it around, you can see all the different colours. It's fascinating to look at. Sometimes you can see patterns or landscapes in your piece of Labradorite and no two pieces are the same, I have found. I do very much enjoy Labradorite. Colours are beautiful. It's so shiny. So for me it helps to connect with my higher self or my intuition, that's how I use it as my tool. I find it quite protective, comforting and of course beautiful to look at. I find myself getting lost in the patterns and the colours. Our friend Judy Hall says that Labradorite is a highly mystical stone and a bringer of light. It raises consciousness and connects with universal energies. Labradorite deflects unwanted energies from the aura and prevents energy leakage calms an overactive mind and energises the imagination. It's a useful companion through change, imparting strength and perseverance. So if you were to wear Labradorite, I've seen some beautiful pendants in shops around, so you would wear it low enough to be over your heart chakra or your heart energy centre, or if you are using it on yourself as a treatment or on someone else then you could hold and place as appropriate. And that's the right. So do write in and let me know what crystals you like, which crystals you use and what it is you use them for, uh, what benefits you find from them maybe, or just which ones you really enjoy um, having or car different carvings, that's very interesting to talk about. So yes, just get in touch and let me know. Okay. Moving on to the next segment of tonight's show, one of my favourites and it's very popular. This is our tone for the evening. Okay, so 
tonight we are going for the note G. The note G is usually associated with the throat chakra or the throat area. At least I find it useful to use specific tones to focus my attention on certain areas of the body or intentions for self-growth and self-balance. So let's talk about the throat area or the throat energy centre. Maybe you'd like to hold a hand over your throat at this time. Close your eyes, listen to the depth of the sound. Start to feel it through your body. The throat area is for authenticity and for speaking your truth. For understanding that we are limitless beings and seek truth beyond our social conditioning so far. Focus your attention on this part of your body. Listen to the tone of the G bowl. Do you sometimes feel your throat tighten up when in social situations where you know something is not quite right? Where you're able to see that there is a hidden truth somewhere or you're watching others play their characters around you when you know if they were able to be totally honest about how they feel then really life would be so much better for them. Then apply that to you and your life and use your senses in this situation as a lesson for you in order to make your own life more authentic. Let your vibe 
be true and in turn you are able to attract others who live in the same truth. So let us think on that while we listen and feel the sound of the tone G. Great. And now moving on to, I'd say, is my favourite segment of the Sensory Hour here on Smooth Sounds Radio, 119.3 FM. And that's the freestyle segment. And today's subject, as I said before, is sounds from the studio. And that's just a little reminder that sounds are all around us, wherever we are, whatever we're doing, whatever is going on in our lives, there is sound everywhere, everything has a sound, and sound affects how we feel. So whenever we are in control, of the sounds around us, then make sure that that sound is something that soothes your soul. Just to add a little bit of balance into your life. I think just being aware of that can make such a difference and really can make our days that much better. Okay. So, sounds from the studio. Well, I have lots of things around me. I, of course, have my equipment. I have my mixer here. And it's my trusty companion. I use it, of course, every single show. And it's never let me down once. It's metal. And has a lot of sliders on there, see if you can hear those. And all of the different knobs for different things. There. It's also resting on this surface, if you can hear that. And I do love this sound. and find myself tapping on this or scratching. I find it brings me into the present moment. Then as I'm tapping on that, I can see I'm wearing one of my favourite bracelets. This is 
a wooden bracelet if I take it off I move it further away from you. You make some louder sounds and you'll hear them in the distance, maybe. For those of you watching on the studio cam, you might be able to see it there. Large oblong beads make it a very wide bracelet. It's very comfortable to wear. Very smooth. Beautiful colour, dark wood. Lovely. And then I have perspex box with my note paper I like to have squares of note paper to hand so that I can jot things down whenever I'm inspired for an idea for the show I like to write them down I tend to have a lot of bits of paper around stack of them on my desk. A little bit further away from your microphones. It sounds a little bit faint. Very gentle. And if I take out some of the paper, you can see if the paper has a nice sound, maybe. And it does. Of course, have wind guards here in front of the microphones. Quite 
quite a smooth surface. Metal. What else do we have on our desk in the studio? Let's see. You've heard the ball, the G ball, and you've heard the labradorite crystal. I can spot something which I know you will love, and something I never am without during one of these shows, the sensory hour here, and that's my tea. Today's tea of choice is a yogi tea, and it's called Throat Comfort, one of my favourites for doing this show for you keeps my voice and my throat clear. I have it in this little flask just to keep it warm while I'm talking to you. Tonight I also have it resting on a wooden placemat. Just to protect the surface of my studio console here. Very simple, plain, wooden square mat. sounds about and I find that a lot of the most relaxing sounds come from objects such as this one 
so one thing I can see on my desk is something I use before I begin the show every week and that is my wooden hairbrush and this particular one still has some hair inside it and actually I find it so soothing to just carefully pull the hair from the brush to clean it. Makes such a lovely sound. Notice how it weaves itself through every bristle on the brush. It's quite satisfying. Those of you watching on the studio cam, you can see that it's a wooden brush with very round, very gentle teeth. My favourite brush. And then the back of the brush. Dabbing sounds on the back. If you ever find the time to just sit and be on your own, soak in the sounds around you, maybe pick up some items you haven't really noticed for a while, maybe something that's been sitting there for a long time and you've walked past it so many times and you kind of forget to look at it, maybe you pick it up. Listen to the sounds and appreciate that it's there. I 
think it's important for us to recognise and appreciate what we do have rather than what we don't and we do have a lot even if it's small even if it's a few that one item can be so much And that concludes our freestyle segment on tonight's show. That also concludes, I'm afraid, tonight's show. This has been the Sensory Hour on Smooth Sound Radio. 119 Point three FM. A huge thank you to all of you relaxation seekers, snuggly sleepers, and tingle heads. Thank you for listening, and I hope to see you again next week on the Sensory Hour. Don't forget to write in, let us know your favourite crystals, if you have any favourite subjects for the freestyle segment, any thoughts on our tone for the evening, or any preferences for our nature sound meditation. I know nature sounds are very popular amongst our listeners, very popular with me as well. So let's see what we have coming up next week. Remember to check our website for any updates and if we don't hear from you, have a wonderful rest, have a wonderful week. Stay positive, stay heart-centred and stay with love. Be love. So I'm going to leave you now with some more of those lovely, cool, calm and refreshing rain sounds. Whatever you're doing, wherever you are, whether you're falling asleep to a beautiful, deep, long-lasting sleep, or you're having some time to yourself, maybe some meditation, whatever it is. I wish you all the peace in the world and I hope that you enjoy the lovely rain sounds. So it's a good night from me, sweet dreams, lots of love. See you next week.